Welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information for the purpose of connecting the global community of scientists, engineers, and other automotive industry experts. One such expert joining us is Robert Bloomquist, Executive Vice President of Global Sales at Indy. And Robert, welcome to AutoSense. Good to see you, friend. Great to see you, Carl, and I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to get together today and, and looking forward to seeing you in Barcelona in October. Indeed. Indeed. Let's start with an overview of Indy. Tell us more about the company and some of the work you're doing in automotive today. Absolutely. So if you look at Indy in just kind of in a nutshell, we started out as a fabulous semiconductor company about two decades ago, and that was Kind of the DNA is ASIC development, and we're doing ASICs in automotive, brought some of the first connectivity experiences into automotive. Um, and through that success, um, ended up taking the company public in 2021, raised a lot of money, and then went on um, quite a bit of an acquisition um, run. And in that process of kind of growing inorganically, we really were focusing on uh, vision and radar technologies. Um, and through that, you know, have become, you know, organically and inorganically have become preferred suppliers in the world's leading tier ones, you know, the, the likes of Bosch, Denso, uh, Magna, et cetera. And that's really then positioned us also at the OEMs globally, where we're today a production supplier into, uh, as a tier two, into Toyota, BYD, VW, HKMC, and GM, and many others. Um, so if you look at where we were and where we're going, uh, we continue to make those investments in, in ADAS and, and really focusing on two of the key perception modalities being vision and radar. And uh, excited to talk to you more about E3D, which is one I know we're going to get to here later in the session. Yeah, absolutely. You had mentioned radar. Uh, great opportunity here to talk about the advantages of 120 gigahertz radar. So, Robert, what does that bring to automotive applications and what is Indy doing specifically in this space? Absolutely. So through our acquisition in the radar front, um, we acquired a company that was on the cutting edge with 120 gigahertz. And if you look at it, um, you know, 77, very much mainstream today for things like blind spot detection, um, but more and more, the OEMs are looking to do a full 360 cocoon at a vehicle level. And 120, through its you know, superior bandwidth and resolution, is opening up opportunities that the other radar technologies cannot. And so if you look at it from a packaging standpoint, um, and let's say an in-cabin perspective, today 60 gigahertz is very prominent as an in-cabin sensing solution. Um, the 120 can give you much better performance at a quarter of the size physically, which means when you're packaging it at a vehicle level, you have a lot more flexibility in terms of where you're putting those sensors to get you know, the optimal view of the cabin and therefore the results. Um, so small footprint's a really big deal. Uh, higher resolution with the shorter wavelength, um, you know, we're able to have an improved penetration and sensitivity over traditional 60 gigahertz systems. Um, we're also taking advantage of the fact that we are in the ISM, the global ISM band. So you, if you look at it from a regulatory perspective, that really gives the tier ones and OEMs flexibility um, from a sensing to jump right into an, an available band, um, a globally available band. Um, and then if you look at it today, it's there's a lot less traffic out there. So um, reduced interference. There's not a lot of 120 gigahertz systems out there. There are a ton of 24, 77 um, gigahertz systems, 60 gigahertz systems. Um, and then again, with that enhanced performance, things like doing fine fine grain things like um, enhanced gesture recognition as you're trying to get involved with HMIs. It really just opens up a myriad of opportunities in cabin and even um, on the exterior. Robert, with that in mind then, how is Indy leveraging vision processing technologies for both ADAS features, but then also the in-cabin monitoring systems? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've been in the industry now for, for a minute and I've watched it go from kind of our NTSC and the older camera technologies that were dumb to now full digital and um, and now AI smart enabled cameras. And that starts at the edge, you know, with the CMOS sensor, but very quickly those bits get passed downstream into an image signal processor. 
And so regardless of what system you're building, you want to be able to take that input image from the CMOS camera at the edge, and you want to be able to perfect it across the entire automotive operating range. Because you can think about, you know, driving in the worst conditions, maybe middle of night snowing in Michigan to full sun in Arizona, and you've got to be able to perform across all of those such that you provide an ideal and the best image you can into now the downstream processing. And so if you look at Indy, you know, our DNA is in the ISP through our, our Geo Semiconductor acquisition. And now, you know, going into our seventh generation of ISP technology, we're bringing things like 24-bit, uh, 144 dB of dynamic range, uh, providing world-class low light performance, you know, very critical for nighttime scenes. Um, and doing that across the pipeline, you know, that operates at 1.5 or 1.4 gigapixels per second. So what does that mean? That means we can take in a lot of cameras simultaneously, process those scenes in, in an ultra high performance fashion and with very low latency. And when you're thinking about an 8S system, latency is everything. You know, every every 10 milliseconds, the car is traveling so far at, you know, 60 miles an hour. And the, the faster we can get that that correct data into the system, um, the faster the system can react and therefore, you know, provide provide that feature and ultimately save lives. Uh, you know, if you think about it, though, fundamentally, you can't have a safety system without security. So underpinning all of what I just mentioned is is a state of the art security uh, foundation. And then, you know, the ACE will be automotive context for um, automotive safety and foundationally everything, again, is built on top of that. Yeah, so well said, Robert. And Indy recently announced that it had signed a definitive agreement to acquire a Motion 3D. I was excited when I saw this on LinkedIn. Yeah. There were people from both Indy and Emotion 3D that I respect tremendously in this industry talking about how excited they were about this announcement that it's just such a good step forward for both Indy and Emotion 3D. So what does this mean, Robert, for both organizations here? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I can't be more ex excited about this because, you know, it's bringing together a world-class perception uh, company in E3D. Um that I know, you know, having been part of that acquisition process, uh, the extent to which they've been adopted and tested and just run through, um, you know, the production mill in the field um, is awesome. And, it, you know, I, I see the tier ones are associated with, with the types of, you know, KPIs they have to achieve at a system level. Um, and then the OEMs that, that they're going to be going into, and they've really done a fantastic job, um, you know, in the IP in cabin sensing space. And then, you know, if you look at it, if you look at the two coming together, you know, what does this mean? Um, today in a traditional engagement to field an in-cabin DMS OMS system, you'd have a combination of the OEM, the tier one, and then a host of tier twos, you know, typically a semiconductor provider that's the processing chip, uh, maybe a third party engineering company that's helping to bring some engineering um, assets to bear, and then a separate uh, software IP provider. And as you can imagine, in a very complex uh, development environment where you're really doing some of the first things ever in automotive and in cabin, um, you can quickly get into finger pointing mode, right? You've got, you're trying to bring together a host of uh, very talented people, but getting singing off the you know, same song sheet, let's say. And so by coming uh, to Indy, you know, we can essentially provide not only the silicon, but we also have outstanding in-house um, image tuning capabilities. So you bring your sensor, we can help you set it up, you get you get your lens, we can tune that, um, do all the IQ tuning for you. And then you match that now with the E3D perception IP, and we essentially can become a one-stop shop for uh, folks developing in cabin. Um, I will say though, you know, if you look at it in terms of a business model, E3D's IP could very easily reside on some other processor in the system, maybe a more centrally located large ADS domain controller. And we are going to continue, you know, to support other um, architectures that would have us, you know, doing just that pure software play uh, as well. Yeah, no matter how you slice it, it's just awesome news. It was one of those things, it was like LinkedIn just knew that I needed to see it that day when it came up uh, across my feed. So uh, and then, awesome, yeah. awesome. And the really exciting thing is, now that you see both sides of the equation, the hardware and the software, you know, looking forward on a, from a roadmap perspective, you understand the problem set 
as good or better than anyone. And now you can start to tune both sides of that equation to really come up with the optimal system um, down the road. And that that is another um, aspect that we're really excited about. It's going to help steer our silicon strategy. It's going to help steer the algorithm strategy and uh, ultimately lead to better products in the field. We're speaking with Robert Bloomquist, Executive Vice President of Global Sales at Indy. A pleasure to have you with us. Looking forward to seeing you in person uh, in Barcelona for AutoSense Europe 2025, October 7th through the 9th. Uh, until then, though, Robert, thank you for being with us virtually anyway. Absolutely, Carl. Appreciate the opportunity and I look forward to seeing you here in a few weeks in Barcelona. For more information on Indy and to find out more about our upcoming events, see the links in the description or visit auto-sense.com. That's auto-sense.com. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to the AutoSense YouTube channel and follow AutoSense on LinkedIn. In Detroit, on behalf of AutoSense, I'm Carl Anthony. Thank <laughs> you.